Hello everybody, welcome to the VTK tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install VTK for Windows. So let's open up your browser and uh, search for VTK. So here in downloads, let's download the zip file containing the source for the VTK build. take few minutes so download has completed let's extract these files now it's got completed and uh, in order to compile this VTK we need software So here you can download CMake. So you can download here the latest version of CMake. Since you are using Windows, you can download Windows platform. So you can download the installers straight forward. Here you can download the for, Win for Windows 64 bit and directly you can download the installer. So you can see CMake got installed. So I'm going I'm going to make a new folder called VTK. And this folder take the source code of VDK and a new folder. So then Let's open the CMA in order to compile. So delete the cache if there are any old things source of if there are and let's and one for VDK source. One for VTK bill. Um, once you start the configuration, initial configuration, it will ask for the compiler. Since I'm using Windows, so I install Visual Studio. So whichever the version you install in your PC, you can use the Visual Studio version for that. So let's begin the configuration.
over a building so let's check build example this which will give lots of options so let's check build example and it's uh, if the build testing is checked let's uncheck it and in future while building example uh, it might uh, throw some error so in order to avoid that uh, you can check the advance if you have not and uh, later in order to avoid that we can check for module btk testing code here we can see model btk testing code so here you can see the so here it is model btk let's check it and as well as module btk testing and rendering Here it is. Let's check there and uh, let's do the configuration once once again. So once the configuration is done, let's click on generate button. This will take few minutes. So it's got generation generates got. So let's go back to the folder VDK folder which have which we had created before and uh, let's check it out we that cmake has created visual studio project file vtk solution file so let's open that using visual studio so in the visual studio and uh, and make sure that you open visual studio in administration mode in order to avoid the errors It's better to open run as an administration mode in order to avoid the future problem. So once you open in administration mode, so you can open the project projects and that the solution solution file which VTK project so just the project is created as it. Cement so on. Let's open it. And here, here we go. On all build, just right click on all build and click on build. This will take for a while, and it depends on the configuration of the computer that you are using. So build got completed in order to install right click on install and press build ah no the build build has completed and vtk should be installed let's now you can head over to see the program files there should be a folder in the program files there should be a folder naming vtk this is the folders and uh, in that it contain the necessary dll for the program that uses the vtk libraries and before we are going to run the program before we proceed further to run the vtk example let me cop copy this part and uh, right click on my computer and in properties in that advanced settings you can go to the new normal material variable and in that path you can give edit and uh, i already given the path the with that vdk has so let us give us the path and click on ok so once we have given the path let's check one vdk example I will show you how to run the VTK example in the next tutorial.